Well, good night, everyone, and welcome to another herping vlog in 2023. Um, I'm going to go out tonight and do some road cruising. I actually have not been road cruising at the spot that I have always really gone to in quite a long time. One of the reasons why is that um, road cruising has actually been really kind of slow this summer, if I'd, brutally, if I'd be brutally honest. I'm was really expecting it to be very productive and it's been the quite opposite of that to the point where I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if we don't even see a snake tonight. There are a few reasons why I think the cruising has been so slow um lately but um yeah so I figured well it's been a hot minute so let me go out at least try and see what we can get and if we don't see anything oh well if we did um that'd be great but I'm gonna get on the road and see what we can find. Well it didn't take us that long, but our first sink on the road is a baby cottonmouth. So, here's a good look at this snake. And yeah, cottonmouths, we've been seeing quite a bit of them. So, we're just going to keep on going, see what else we can find, but at least we got some snake movement tonight. So, that's pretty cool. All right, people, we got a snake that I have not seen alive in 2023. I found this guy on his back, but he just flipped himself over. This is a Florida brown water snake. Excuse me, it's a brown water snake. And everyone I've seen this year has been dead or injured. But this guy was just on his back and he seems to be doing just fine. So, there is an up-close shot at him. We'll make sure he gets off the road safely, and we'll keep on going. But, great to see a snake that we haven't seen too often. So, brown water snake. Alright. Classic American crocodile. Always reliable, but something you never get tired of seeing down here. So, pretty cool. And there is another crocodile swimming right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, everyone, I've just gotten back um, from a night of cruising. It's a little after midnight right now. As I kind of predicted, we didn't really get that much movement on the road tonight. I did see another live snake, but it got off the road before I could get out, and I didn't confirm what it was. I did also find a dead um, Clarkie Eye Mangrove salt marsh snake mixed with a banded water snake. And other than that, just a couple other dead snakes. So, yeah, for some reason, the summer months have been really, really slow in terms of road cruising. Not a whole lot of productivity and biodiversity compared to the early springtime which I think is pretty interesting, but I'm not going to end the herping vlog here. I'll probably include some other stuff that I find and if I go out for any other night herping. So I'll, if that's the case, I'll put it in this video and I'll see you next time. All right, everyone, we have a snake on the road here and it's a young Florida cottonmouth. Zoom in a little bit. Just to get a better look right there. But yeah, it's raining right now, but the road's really warm and and there goes the young cottonmouth. Maybe we'll see another snake. We just found what appears to be a Florida red belly cooter at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, just on the side of the road here. Isn't that something? Hey there. We'll let this guy, or most likely, let's see. Oh, it could be, I'm looking at the nails there. If it has really long, noxious nails, it's a female, a male. But I think this actually might be a female, so we'll let her be and keep on going. All right, we got our first live snake of the night. This is a Florida scarlet snake that was working its way off the road. And yeah, it's a 
pretty these snakes are fairly common down here in South Florida, but they aren't elsewhere, so it's always a treat to see one. Well, it's been the night of scarlet snakes. We just got our second one on the night, and these are the only live snakes that we've seen. So there's a look at him right there. Pretty cool. So we came across this eastern diamondback this morning on my way to work. His rattle, which you can see there, looks to be burned, like it got hit in a prescribed burn. He's moving pretty lethargically. I'm hoping the snake is doing fine. I haven't seen an eastern diamondback since the month of April, so it's been nearly three months. But this guy got off the road safely. We're just going to leave him be, and hopefully he'll be fine. Okay, we got a, looks like a striped mud turtle on the road here, early in the morning, so that's pretty cool. So we got this absolutely stunning box turtle on the road. I'm, I'm pretty much obligated to say this is a Florida box turtle, but with that really dark head, it kind of reminds me of a Gulf Coast box turtle, and I've been told that Florida and Gulf goes coast box turtles do integrate with each other but this looks to be i'd say it's a just based on the size potentially a male that um excuse me the carapace isn't super domed but we'll get this turtle off the road and we'll keep on going but an absolutely stunning box turtle in back-to-back -back days we have road cruised a box turtle and I'm, as I said, I'm pretty sure this is a Florida box turtle, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was some Gulf Coast box turtle integrated into here. So yeah, while well, this guy's actually being, I'm in the shade. Get out of that for a second. But there's a nice look at the box turtle. There. So this one, I think this one was a female. The one yesterday was definitely a male. So we'll make sure this turtle gets off the road safely, and then we'll keep on going. But, nice, nice box turtle. Just came across a Florida box turtle, and she's, this is a female, and she's just walking around doing her thing. Well, we got this young male box turtle. You can see the little indent there in the plastron, but... This very energetic fellow right here, he wants to get on his way, so we'll let him be. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we've gotten a lot of box turtles lately, so that's been pretty cool to see, but pretty cool. Okay. Right You're getting it right in our All right, so we have an Everglades racer that just took off. Nope. nope, it's actually right over here. It's moving. Got a raccoon going into the woods.
make sure you guys right now that it's clear where the sensor is. 